Mercedes-Benz EQXX concept car was unveiled in January and is claimed to set new energy efficiency benchmarks to get a real-world range of more than 620 miles, 167 more than the EQS flagship EV. So, is it at an end game for Tesla? Welcome to eMotion. In today's video, you'll learn about how Mercedes has entered the EV market and how it's a tough competition for Tesla. So make sure to watch the video till the end. Mercedes-Benz AG opened its first U.S. electric vehicle battery factory and said Japanese battery maker Envision AESC would supply battery modules for the U.S.-made Mercedes EV from a new U.S. plant by the middle of the recent decade. Alongside the launch of its Bibb County, Alabama battery plant, Mercedes also previewed a large electric SUV to be built at the nearby Tuscaloosa, Alabama assembly facility this year. The EQS SUV and a smaller EQE electric SUV, also to be made in Alabama, join a growing lineup of electric SUVs seeking to challenge Tesla in the United States, China, and Europe. A battery plant which will employ 600 workers and the assembly facility are part of a $44 billion by Mercedes to go all electric by 2030, where markets allow. Mercedes, which plans to produce EV batteries in Europe, North America, and Asia, aims to have eight cell factories with partners around the world with capacity to produce 200 gigawatt hours a year by the end of the decade. When Mercedes chief executive Ola Kelenius and other executives were in Alabama to open the new battery factory, Kelenius is trying to accelerate the shift by Mercedes from a combustion technology company to a firm whose products do not emit carbon and rely on software and computing power. Our EQXX is a research vehicle designed to push boundaries and explore options for the future production vehicles. It's a blueprint for a series of production. Many innovations from this technology program will soon find their way into our production vehicles, Mercedes spokesperson said, as well as specific components and technologies. This includes the highly agile multidisciplinary development approach, as well as the software and digital tools used during the development process. The Rakish Compact Saloon is the latest in a long line of design studies made public by Mercedes-Benz. It has been conceived to challenge existing EV principles in a program aimed at hatching new ideas, processes, and innovations for adoption on upcoming EVs. At its reveal, Mercedes Chief Technology Officer Markus Schaefer noted that the concept was a running and driving prototype, which even uses a version of the existing MBUX infotainment system, hinting at its production intent. However, the latest comments made to move electric are the strongest yet in regards to the technology's production potential. There are many elements of the vehicle which are very close to moving into the series production, said Schaefer. We can look at the shape and the form of the vehicle, and we are very close to the series cars that we are going to see in 2024 with all the ingredients to make it one of the most efficient electric vehicles that exists. Chief designer Gordon Wagner confirmed that the EQXX is at least one segment smaller than the recently revealed EQE, hinting at its eventual production potential as an electric equivalent to the C-Class, likely using the all-new MMA platform for compact and mid-sized EVs. Despite conforming to all existing German roadworthiness regulations and providing seating for four adults, the EQXX is claimed to set a new record for aerodynamic efficiency, with a drag rating of below 0.18 CD. This compares with the 0.20 CD of the EQS. The development program for the EQXX is said to have seen key contributions from UK-based Mercedes AMG high-performance powertrains, which builds the complex V6 turbo hybrid powertrains for Mercedes Formula One cars. In developing the one-off prototype, Mercedes not only focused on the drivetrain, but also challenged its designers and engineers to rethink the other key areas of EV development. Central to the outstanding range achieved by the rear-wheel drive saloon in its high efficiency rating, which is at more than 6.2 miles per kilowatt hour. That's almost double that of the Mercedes-Benz EQS on the WLTP test procedure, a figure that Mercedes says is the equivalent of more than 282 miles per gallon in a petrol car. It's been achieved using a newly developed motor and a bespoke lithium-ion battery, which, at just under 100 kilowatt hours, has a lower overall energy capacity than the EQS, the longest range version of which lasts 453 miles. Using cells supplied by Chinese battery specialist CATL, 
This 1750 kilogram EQXX's new battery is also claimed to be 50% the size of the EQS's 107.8 kilowatt hour pack and is some 35% lighter at about 495 kilograms. Mercedes said that the new high silicon content battery operates at more than 900 volts and features active cell balancing, a process whereby energy is drawn evenly from each cell or enhanced efficiently at a cruise. Further developments include a new thermal system that is said to save significant energy by using warmth from the drivetrain to heat the cabin, while a plate underneath the car takes advantage of airflow along the underbody for cooling. Mercedes claims up to 95% of the energy from the EQXX's battery ends up at the wheels. By comparison, ICE vehicles typically operate at around 30% efficiency. Rated at 201 brake horsepower, the EQXX's compact new motor is mounted within a lightweight carbon fiber subframe at the rear and drives through a single-speed transmission. It's controlled by a power electronic system based heavily on that of the Mercedes AMG 1 hybrid hypercar, albeit with a new generation of silicon on carbides for what Mercedes said is a significant reduction in losses compared to the systems in place on EQ-badged models today. Electric range sounds easy, but it's a complex technical challenge, said Jörg Bartels, head of the EQXX engineering team. The easiest way is to put a bigger battery in the car. However, this leads to diminishing returns due to the size and weight. With the Vision EQXX, we've managed to push efficiency to a new level. The front of the EQXX takes on a sports car-like appearance, with a low leading edge, a short bonnet, shapely fenders, and large wheelhouses. The signature Mercedes grille is replaced by a star graphic incorporated with the front bumper, while the digital LED headlights are conjoined with a full-width LED light bar. To save weight and ensure maximum aerodynamic efficiency, Mercedes' star logo is stenciled into the bonnet. The so-called air control system channels air through the front section of the new concept car using a series of air curtains and air breathers. Mercedes has also fitted the EQXX with what it calls ninth generation exterior mirrors and newly developed aero-optimized wheels. The EQXX's A pillars are set well forward because there are no drivetrain components in the nose section and its wheelbase stretches to 2,800 millimeters, maximizing space in the cabin. At the rear, the EQXX draws on the attractive aerodynamic developments first explored by Mercedes on the concept IAA of 2015. Included is a diffuser element that automatically extends at speed to smooth airflow and reduce turbulence at speed. The EQXX is also slightly tapered, with a rear track that's 50 millimeters narrower than the front track. So, is it game over for Tesla? It might be. Tesla has had a meteoric rise as an underdog company, but the next five years could be its biggest challenge yet. Major automakers from across the globe are preparing massive electric car rollouts, perhaps none as large as Daimler, Mercedes' parent company. The German automaker plans to electrify its fleet of cars by 2023 and is investing $11 billion to make it happen. In many ways, taking down Tesla is no easy feat. The company has secured brand loyalty on par with Apple, which can be attributed to the admiration surrounding Tesla CEO Elon Musk's comment to building a sustainable future. It has pushed the industry in ways that never have been seen before, from implementing over-the-air updates to challenging the traditional dealership model. Yet, Tesla has some weaknesses, mostly its struggle to execute on production. The Model S and Model X both suffered delays and the company has yet to overcome its manufacturing hurdles. Tesla produced 260 Model 3s in the third quarter of its targeted 1500 sedans. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thanks for watching.